Welcome guys to the Squared Circle and today is a special day because we have a very special guest here with us and he is a guy who talks, walks and loves to sleep and eat wrestling. He is the founder of WrestleFanet. Ladies and gentlemen, Nikunj Valia. Thank you so much, uh, Savraj. Thank you for having me on your uh, Squared Circle podcast meeting, whatever you can call this. And I'm really <laughs> glad, to, you know, uh, this is like... Uh, uh, my third, fourth interview I've done with somebody who's also equally passionate about wrestling as me. And uh, thank you so much. You thought that I'm worth your time and for this interview. It's really sweet of you. Thank you so much. And I've always loved to help people who like wrestling. <laughs> sure, man. So, uh, Nikunj, tell us what really WrestleFanet is and how did you start? So, uh, it's, very, it's a very interesting story. So, I think uh, most of the people on my community know about me a lot. But I'll tell it to you because I want to... Uh, tell it to the world. So basically, it all happened uh, last year when I decided that uh, I was doing a job the, then. So I had uh, this vision that I wanted to see WrestleMania in person with all of my hard-earned money. I didn't want to take any penny from my mom, dad or stuff like that. So I was working for an entire year and I was very normal salary, like 25-30 thousand ki salary. Thi. And uh, I was just collecting all my money because see, I'm a person who doesn't spend a lot, doesn't like go out that much, it's okay, but I don't spend on clothes and stuff like that. So I was just saving all my money up for this. Excuse me. Yeah. And uh, the reason that I was uh, saving because I had this one goal that I want to see WrestleMania. I want to see it no matter what happens. And then uh, at the end of uh, April, I was down with, I think, two and a half, three lakhs. And I spent it like this <laughs> on my wrestling WrestleMania trip. Uh, and... Uh, I must tell you, it was a once in a lifetime experience and it changed my life completely. Because after that, when I came back, uh, I was all passionate about, yeah, I want to do something in this. But then again, I had a job and uh, luckily I was fired. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, just do what you're really passionate about. It may not bring you anything in the start. In the next one year, it might not bring anything. But I was so wrong in that. It uh, brought me so much like... It established me as an influencer, as a, like you can say, a community maker, whatever you can call it. So then uh, it was on 29th of September that I founded WrestleFanent. Uh, like I wanted to make a very innovative platform for the fans of India, like where they can, where the fans become the superstar. You can say this is the vision where you can actually live your passion. Uh, so I thought that. I will start up with some daily content and then I started posting content and people started liking it. Many started hating it, then got different, different love. So then I went into events as I organized two events in Delhi, like game on this event I called for gaming tournaments. Then I did some online stuff more and obviously uh, in the last one and a half, two months, it's been really great for WrestleFan. And so we did uh, like uh, four live interviews with uh, celebrity guests, Galen Mendonza, Sahil Ved. Salil Acharya, Sahil Khattar. So I hosted all of them on live video. And uh, in one and a half month, uh, during quarantine period, my WrestleFan and shop started. And uh, the results were mind-blowing. I did about 30 orders in that quarantine, quarantine period. So WrestleFan and basically turned around the game. And now I think it has the potential to become the next big thing with future collaboration with, I think, uh, other companies going on. And... Uh, also, I want to tell you that uh, we did a collaboration with WWE India as well. I got uh, eight fans featured in their Thankful for WrestleMania campaign, along with myself, of course. So that was also a big milestone for me. And then I got connected with more people from WWE. And basically, WrestleFan and is to bring out uh, stuff you've never seen before. Like, as you might have noticed, like promo battles and these mm -hmm. online events and entrance battles, quizzes, giveaways. You know, stuff like that, because I've seen so many fan pages and I've told them like, like many times that this is not a fan page. It's a fan brand. It's a brand made for you, where you can experience stuff you can experience anywhere else. So it's basically a very new innovative platform for people to interact, compete, win, you know, all like, just like wrestling, everything is the basis is wrestling, sports entertainment. That's it. That's all about it. That's pretty interesting, man. Uh, this man is inspiration. Uh, he gave Thank me some inspiration. So uh, <laughs> guys, if, guys, guys, if you love wrestling, go check WrestlePanet out on Instagram and YouTube. Link in the description down below. So without further ado, let's get started. What we're here for, and that is Backlash 2020 predictions. So the first match for the night 
is going to be Sheamus versus Jeff Hardy. So, Whoa. yeah, I'm going to predict this one first. It's going to be Jeff Hardy is going to win this. And uh, just because he recently returned and he's currently seeking for a redemption storyline. So I guess it's pretty much clear he is going to win this. So, yeah. Uh, I think I think I'll d- I'll differ here because uh, yeah, no doubt Jeff Hardy has been one of my favorites. Uh, I really like Jeff Hardy uh, yeah, because I think Sheamus uh, needs that momentum that he has lost somewhere. So I think beating a veteran like Jeff Hardy would really give him a boost on SmackDown. So I think I'll go with Jeff Hardy. Oh, sorry, Sheamus over here. Okay, 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 okay. So next match is going to be for the Raw Women's Championship: uh, Asuka versus Nia Jax. Who you got? Uh, I I really am not a fan of Nia Jax. Uh, no, okay, because because uh, of very obvious reasons. Uh, I she's great. Uh, she's she's got good potential and stuff. Obviously, she's got the lineage as well, uh, which is okay. But uh, Asuka is one great wrestler. She was like uh, I think after a streak broke, she was kind. She lost that momentum yeah. and uh, now she's finally gained back on that like stream since Becky Lynch is gone now. So I think a champion like Asuka is needed for uh, like for Monday Night Raw right now. And Nia Jax, as many have said, it's she is unsafe to work with. Yeah. I would never pick Nia Jax in any poll. Sorry. Yeah, I, I, that's true. But um, I have got a very very wild prediction here. I I am going to go with Nia Jax. I don't know. Okay. This sounds absurd, but uh, WWE really does take some absurd decisions. So I am going to go with Nia Jax. I think why? Because is uh, WWE might do it to get the heat off of Nia Jax. Now I realize that this decision might not excite any of you guys. So please, for God's sake, don't unsubscribe me yet. So the third match is going to be for the <laughs> Universal Championship. Uh, Miz and Morrison versus Braun Strowman in a 2 on one handicap match. Very obvious uh, choice that will be, of course, that will be Braun Strowman. We all know where the storyline is actually yeah. headed. It's, obviously, it's going to be, uh, we all know Bray Wyatt uh, is going to now come as the fiend after this storyline because Bray Wyatt has obviously been on a sabbatical because of the birth of his uh, daughter, uh, of his second yeah, child. So, yeah. after this, it's obviously going to be Braun versus fiend. So, the obvious prediction is Braun Strowman here. Yeah, same. I Braun think you would agree with me. Yeah. Braun, yeah. Braun Strowman will squash both of them. That's sad, but I think that's going to happen. And Bray will, uh, fiend will uh, come on and uh, attack him after the match. Yeah. So the yeah. next match is going to be Edge versus Orton in the the greatest wrestling match ever. Greatest wrestling match ever. Greatest wrestling match ever. I I am I'm not really fond of this phrase going on. Exactly. Edge versus that, the greatest the wrestling words. match ever. I don't know what is this. What, like uh, what? What is this actually? Uh, I mean, we have wrestled it before, and it was not never built a greatest wrestling match. I think greatest wrestling match would be. Some win between like uh, AJ Styles or Shinsuke Nakamura. Exactly. That I would call a good wrestling exactly. match. But I, this match, I don't know for what bizarre reason they have promoted it like that. But since you've asked me for a prediction, uh, I don't know. I've, I've never, I'm never going to choose Randy Orton in anything. Because I, I don't have anything against Randy Orton. It's just that I've never been a fan of Randy Orton. So, uh, Edge I've really, really liked a lot. Uh, like from all the time he spent in the ring. So, I would go with Edge with that one. And I think uh, I think you're not a Randy Orton fan as well. I am a Randy Orton fan, but not as big of I am of Edge. So I yeah. obviously I'm gonna pick Edge over Randy Orton, and it has to be. I mean, uh, Edge has recently returned. He's currently in a hot run, and I think I also think that uh, it might be that after the match ends, a uh, rated RQ return is coming soon. I think that's why this match. Rated is, RKO. Uh, you know what? Uh, I have a really different opinion on this. I yeah. think the storyline will somewhere involve Christian. I think because we have heard that Christian is going to mm-hmm. come back on Raw. Yeah. yeah. So, mm-hmm. so I, I think, uh, and I must tell you, they're very interesting story. Mm-hmm. So we do a post called storylines where we invite stories from fans. Like if they were a storyline writer, how would they write a story? So for that, I'm be posting a storyline made by one of the fan end itself. Uh, that involves Christian and Edge uh, and Randy Orton. So it, uh, the storyline goes like a uh, uh, Edge and Orton match happening. And Christian comes and he turns on Edge and he joins Orton stuff like that. So I think Christian hmm. has a part to play in this. And hmm. let's see if that fantasy comes reality. I don't know. Maybe it can. 
yeah but uh, previously uh, christian uh, actually uh, commented on this rivalry he said that this rivalry is too good to involve me i don't know what what the plan is but let's move on to the next one <laughs> <laughs> so it's going to be for the universe uh, for the delhi championship match for drew mcintyre versus bobby lashley so who you got uh i i think i should say bobby lashley because he's on my dm i think i should say that <laughs> but <laughs> really no but I, yeah yeah he's on my dm uh, that also happened very unexpectedly i did a post about uh, lashley like i did a story where it was reported that he is he's covid positive and then he oh. got so outraged he, he saw <laughs> i don't know how he saw it and he replied to me that's bullshit it's not true <laughs> so since then i have him in my dm so but yeah. no i won't go with lastly i would go with mcintyre mcintyre i think since his return to nxt i've been a big fan of drew mcintyre Everyone he's has. he's on full yeah. steam and uh, obviously his reign is going to last very long uh, let's see uh, but i don't i don't think lastly is going to end his reign he yeah. might have a good match with him but not his yeah. aim i think no. I, yeah i think drew also because um, drew is obviously the most over baby face in this industry right now and uh, i would like to see bobby win the title but not uh, not over drew and i also think that lana will interrupt and uh, do something with mvp or stuff and Bobby will get distracted and get blind uh, blind sided by a claymore and that's how the match will end so yeah uh, i think yeah. I, i think you're right uh, lana is going to be involved some considering we've seen what's happened in the past week so lana might play a factor but uh, i'm pretty sure it's going to be mcintyre pretty sure yeah everyone does uh, so uh, so we know that there are only five matches which have been confirmed for this pay per view and uh, there are at least 7 to 8 matches on a pay per view uh, so we're going to predict two more matches uh, one one of them is going to be a little obvious uh, which is viking raiders versus street profit i don't know and who's going to win just tell me uh, i i think i'm really you know i'm liking this really good concept of uh, what they're doing with the viking raiders and street Pro- yeah. profits you know yeah. a bowling match and uh, golf and everything it's a good way and as a creative uh, mind myself i am really inspired by these kind of events like what they're doing during covid and stuff like that exactly. so i think uh, but if you ha- if i have to pick one out of them then i would go with the street profits because we want the smoke and yeah. i want the smoke <laughs> and, and i think those guys montes ford and angelo dokken are really cool nothing taken for american ever but i feel their persona is like i are little bland I, that's what mm. i feel but street profits are really charismatic they're enthusiastic they they're like it's a delight to watch them basically you exactly. like that yeah i would also go with uh, the street profits and i think this feud will continue because i don't think there is an, another tag but, team by the team. way what's what's the score right now between these two teams what's the score it's two all right I yeah guess. it's two all next one i'm going to say it's going to be seth rollins versus alister black Uh, oh okay so this is a quite interesting match that might happen or should happen i think it's already happened in raw before but yeah. uh, i think a rematch is must do on backlash hmm. if it does happen uh, so i think i will go here with uh, alister black because uh, seth rollins you know uh, i used to really like his persona with that burn it down persona i don't like his monday night messiah like uh, mm-hmm. persona I think it's really it doesn't suit him to be very honest. So yeah, I don't really like I don't uh, like approve of his Monday Night Messiah like persona. Mm. I really, I find it very stupid to be very honest. Uh, mm. And and especially after this new entrance theme that he's got, that, that was that's, that's even bad. stupid. <laughs> that's bad. Very, like they like yeah. they destroyed a Seth Rollins potential guy with that stupid sloppy entrance, and I really hated that. so and alister black uh, i think he has a lot of potential even the raw G, uh, no the raw gm the raw executive director paul heyman he also agrees and he has a lot of uh, hopes from alister black and uh, i was even picking alister black for the money in the bank victory i don't know why it gave went to him i, I did yeah that that's it's really stupid yeah that's a waste of money But, in the bank Yeah. yeah but uh, actually i got to know this before only that uh, money in the bank uh, is not going to win because of a source i have in wwe usa <laughs> so there's this friend of mine who works in wwe usa uh, okay. so he already told me that uh, he's not going to win uh, alistair black's not going to win he, he said he told me he's going it's going to be a very disappointing result but uh, mm-hmm. i i think i wasn't like 
totally disappointed with Otis winning. It's okay. I think, but it's, it's just that it could funny. have gone. It's little casual. Yeah. It could have gone to somebody more better. Maybe an AJ Styles or maybe Alistair Black. Somebody like that. Yeah. Maybe. So I'll go for the Black. pretty good connections, dude. <laughs> Well, bro, you have to work hard to make such connections, <laughs> and uh, tr- and trust me, uh, this journey of mine has been, uh, you know, full of disappointment, dejections, and uh, you know, every yes, some there are many days, and you know, even some days, even now, even I feel like quitting. You know, I'm done. You know, what is this? It's not really fetching me anything. But then I look at the brighter side that you know, I'm so known in in a community that I really love, and I've been on WWE India's page, and I've interviewed so many celebrities, and. You know, I've sold. I've sold a merchandise at a time when everybody was going through a crisis. And you know, mm-hmm. these small achievements. I think sometimes you have to look at them as well. You know, because small, small achievements make you a big man someday. And that's what I hope, and that's what I always live for. Because you know, I'm I'm 26 right now, and at the age of 25, I decided to start it from scratch. That takes guts because you know, at this age, people are usually settled. They they are like having a flourishing career and stuff like that but i wasn't really finding the suitable thing i wanted to do and i found it at 25 unfortunately so i think uh, the message that i want to give to uh, like everybody from your podcast besides for my love for wrestling that obviously should everybody should love wrestling because it's one of the greatest sport ever and soon uh, you might see nikunj valia taking a promotion uh, maybe some full steam ahead in india like because we all fans know that uh, We can't really go to the U.S. say so. We need to bring the sports entertainment action here, and uh, Nikunj Valle just hopes to be that one creative mind to you know bring some interesting wrestling content over here in terms of the actual wrestling. So that's one thing said. But I really hope, I, like, I want to give this message out through your podcast that you know uh, if you are if you have a well settled family, like not a well settled, if you have a settled family, which can you know take that. Okay, my kid is exploring. We are there to support him. I think because the reason I'm still uh, struggling and still happy is the reason of my family because they've supported me in every way possible, and uh, I've not taken a single penny from them to support my venture. I've done it all on my own from all the savings I did. So, guys, I think everybody should you know just go for their passion because if you love something, work towards it. Don't forget about the consequences because if you think of the consequences, you will never be able to do it. That's what I think. Yeah, man. So coming back to the prediction, um, I uh, I also pick uh, Alistair Black, and I think Alistair Black will win, but uh, via disqualification. And I think uh, Seth Rollins and his uh, disciple group will come in and uh, be and try to kill Alistair Black, and then Rey Mysterio will come in and interrupt them, and you know this this feud will continue in for uh, in future. Yeah, so I, I think I think uh, it it might just go to that direction, you know, where it goes uh, the disciples and the Messiah versus uh, Rey Mysterio, Alistair yeah. Black, and Dominic, uh, Dominic yeah, Rey Humberto Rey. and Dominic uh, Mysterio because uh, Rey Mysterio really wants to team up uh, with Dominic once before he retires. Mm-hmm. So I think this can be a good direction for them. If I was a storyline writer, I would you know take it in this direction maybe. Yeah. Or maybe do a tag team only, you know, between uh, Murphy and Seth Rollins versus Alistair. Oh, sorry, uh, Rey Mysterio and Dominic. I think that would also be a great. That, match that would be ball. great, yeah. So yeah, you I can guess, see it. You yeah. can see it. Double six one nine. That's the way they hit. Yeah, bro. <laughs> <laughs> so I think that's it. Uh, so thank you, Nikan, for an awesome collaboration. I loved it. I hope you did too. So loved it, bro. Yeah. If you guys want to be featured in a video, just DM me on Instagram at the the square circle. Uh, so that's it for this video, guys. I hope you liked it. If you did, four fifty slash that like button and share it with your friends and family. And also do check and out Russell Sanders. Yeah, yeah. Please, and please yeah. follow this guy. He's awesome. <laughs> He's doing some awesome jobs. Just like I'm trying to do some awesome job for everybody. <laughs> so go ahead and follow uh, Squared Circle on Instagram, on YouTube, wherever you can find him. And if you like this video, like, share, comment, subscribe, do everything, guys. It's all wrestling talks over here.